Hello and welcome back everybody. Today we're gonna go on this week's Elite Deep Dive. For this I'm gonna be bringing my Driller class, because I haven't played Drill in a little bit I don't think. And I'm gonna be taking one of my favorite loadouts. This is Volatile Impact Mixture Sludge Pump, which will do really high damage towards single targets. And it also does pretty well against crowds. Since we have such good single target and crowd control, I'm gonna be bringing the EPC with Heat Pipe. This is for EPC mining and just for doing really high damage as well as it's just a super fun overclock to use. We also have Dark Morkite on this mission and let's see how this goes. I'm also curious as to how much money we're gonna get from this because currently I'm doing a bit of a, uh, a bit of an experiment to see how quickly we can get to 1 million credits since I've been doing this at least for two streams now where we got to 100,000 over the course of two streams, one playing on Has 4, one playing on Has 5. The Has 5 when I was going out of my way to try to make more money, the Has 4 when I was just doing whatever we had, and I haven't been taking daily deals or anything like that. But I'm wondering how much a Elite Deep Dive will get us in terms of actual money, if it will be a significant amount or not very much. Bosco found a leech, awesome! Good job, Bosco. Let me get that leg out from there. <laughs> I love having the EPC just for this. I forget how much fun EPC mining actually is. Let's put that away. And for anybody wondering, I can do a little tutorial here in a second for how I like to use it. And just how to use it, because I've gotten more questions recently of how to do it. You do need uh, Thin Containment Filled in Tier 5 in order to actually use the Thin Containment Filled. So, you will need that ahead of time. And the way to do it is just you simply charge up a charge shot and you shoot it with a normal shot. At least normally. You can have teammates do that, or enemies can also do it. Alright, let's just melt our way through everything here. Let's save up the most amount of ammo here. And you can of course use it for a weapon, because it does actually hit really hard. It does take a lot of time to get used to though, and I would suggest just going into matches and practicing in solo. That can be really good, and probably not going with uh, Heat Pipe right away, because Heat Pipe is probably the most difficult uh, version of this. Alright, well. Since it has the shortest window out of all of them, so it has the biggest chance of failure. It's also easiest if you don't use the uh, EPC directly on something. So shooting it directly at something becomes rather difficult to actually judge the distance. Bosco. Actually, Bosco, could you? Thank you. You can also drill the spitballer shots out of the air. <laughs> For anybody wondering, it's kind of nice once you. Uh, get used to that. Put all that stuff down. Alright. Take them out, Bosco. <laughs> even more of the little buggers. Although there's a lot of them. So we'll get and we'll throw stuff like that at us. I see another one. Bosco, shoot that one too. I'm gonna stop his shots. Okay, thank you, Bosco. Appreciate that. We can then kinda take them out quickly. And then I guess get eaten by crawlers. Okay, there we go. A lot of stuff this mission, and I imagine it's just gonna keep on coming after us. At least until we get the... It's a cave leech. <laughs> at least until we get the mini meals all set up. And yeah, as well as this isn't connected to the regular hordes that'll be showing up. Oh, whoops. That went too wide. There we go. <laughs> no, now the Magdara are after us. Of course they are. Let's get rid of all that real quick. Whoops. Try to get some impact axe value here. 
Apparently the uh, wasps are completely immune to that. And it looks like I used up all but one axe there. Oh hey, we can get some uh, more kite here. I don't want to EPC or C4 mine this because we have Dark Morkite, and if you do that, you don't get the extra uh, bonus from actually mining it. It has to be mined with a pickaxe. It's similar to pots of gold in that way. Hmm, looks like our last one is all the way up here. Okay. Oh, that actually hit. I didn't think it would. Okay, cool. Oh, and we've got a horde on the way, it looks like. Okay, then. Unfortunately, I haven't really found an opportunity to use my Berserker yet. <laughs> there hasn't been any uh, oppressors or a bunch of Praetorians or anything. There's just been a bunch of little ones. Let's get this all set up. We still got two parts of that resupply. And I don't think this part should be too bad. Uh, we've got a pretty strong build for actually holding an area. I guess it'll depend on how much stuff we get. Because we've been getting a lot of just things in this mission. Hello, little bug. Yep, yeah, here comes the... <laughs> These are what I'm most worried about. Just all the little swarmers. Okay. Sorry, little loot bug. I knew I was going to kill you guys, though. I didn't want to, but yeah. The sludge will eat away at you. Oh, wait. I actually inadvertently made it so I got the most ammo out of my shots. Cool. <laughs> Usually want to get down to one shot with the sludge pump and then use the last shot for a charge shot since it doesn't matter what ammo you actually have in the weapon. And they usually get a little bit more out of it. I, I think you get more out of it regardless of which overclock you're running. Even if this one is good for just uh, regular old single shots. Because as you can see, it can just melt through the <laughs> hordes of grunts pretty easily. Okay, there we go. Now, where are these fuel cells? Where are they going to be at? Oh, they're over there. Okay. Cool. That's a good spot for them. Give me another little resupply here. Get swarmed some more. Awesome. It was going to happen. <laughs> but we're going to have a lot of kills just from this one. Yeah, it is all the way on the other side. All right. Well, let's get this sucker set up then. It would have been worse had it just like dropped right there. I guess it wouldn't have been so bad since we're playing Driller. We could have just made the area better, but either way, it's in a good spot now. Let's get this set up and then we will uh, be on our way to stage two, whatever horrors await us there. I wonder if we're going to have an industrial sabo, because we haven't had one of them in forever. <laughs> Which, for a while, we were getting nothing but industrial sabo. Sandshark over there. He's technically on the other side of the wall. Okay. Buggers. Oh, there's a second Praetorian there. Okay, I didn't even pay attention to that one. Alright. Maybe I can get some more value with the EPC. 
The only problem with this one is that I can't shoot it too quickly. I can't go for follow-up shots too quickly after one another. Otherwise, I'll overheat this. I heard a menace. No, I'm not seeing one. I just gotta survive this. And you're not supposed to be going around the sludge, you're supposed to be going through the sludge. What's the sludge pump for if it can't eat away everything? <laughs> right, let me grab that again. Don't know if there's anything else down there, but might as well fire it. <laughs> Shot. Take them out, Bosco. Take them all out. All right. Kind of in an annoying spot, aren't you? All right. At least I did get used Berserker there for a second, so that's kind of nice. That's some more perk value. Hopefully, we get a Dreadnought mission so I can use all the Berserk damage. Oh, it's directly above us again, isn't it? Alright, to stage two, let's go! Let's see what we get. Wow, 600 kills already. Alright, elite threat, dreadnoughts, plus mini mules. We're gonna have a, so much nitra. I've only called down one resupply. And then we're gonna get at least another, if not two... I don't think we'll... I don't think you can get two full <laughs> resupplies from two mini mules. But we're definitely gonna get one plus like a half of another resupply on top of already existing like two or three resupplies that we got. So, shouldn't be that bad. We can also just fight in this room. Okay. Oh, there it is. It's like I hear the dreadnought, I don't see it, but I hear it. Oh, it's a hive guard. Well, that might destroy our perfectly good room. Oh well. <laughs> Get rid of all that. Oh! His minions are coming the other way. Alright, let's go back to our perfectly crafted room here, or mostly perfectly crafted room. I didn't get rid of everything in this. But, did take down quite a bit of it. Molly! He needs the gun. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it shouldn't do well. Gotta shoot a bit higher. Yeah, take care of the menace. While the hive guard climbs to us. Alright, take care of that. <laughs> what the heck? Why are you under the ground? Yes, yeah, get out from there. Get out from there this instant. <laughs> Best thing about this overclock too is that we don't actually even really need to hit the dreadnought in the weak spot. Just shoot him normally. Oh, sorry, little blue button. I'm out the hole now. There we go. Let's take out part of him with that. Part of him with that. Okay. Oh, I'm out of C4. Yeah, 
finisher. We get rid of all of his parts that way. No, no. <laughs> Hang on, I'm coming back. Really do too much to us there. All right, time to grab a resupply because I'm almost out of sludge. And we like having sludge around here. I don't know if he's. Whoops. <laughs> I don't know if he's sent out his guys yet or not. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, maybe it will. Well, we're helpless. I guess not. Oh no! <laughs> I hope you didn't freeze, Dreadnought. He's um, he's not doing anything. <laughs> oh well, now he's trying to attack. Okay, there we go. Will Will you call now, or are you just gonna remain invulnerable? There we go. Why was he broken for so long? Maybe he was trying to lull me into a false sense of security or something? Maybe I'm giving him too much credit and he just bugged out? Maybe it was a combination of the different things. There we go. C4 the bug. And then eat it away with acid. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm glad that he finally got himself fixed and we didn't have to redo that whole section. <laughs> yeah, okay. This looks like the correct room. Although I should get back to my other room because I don't have any, like, ammo left. <laughs> Been using it along the way. Alright, well. You know what, let's get the Dreadnought started. Twins. Alright, cool. Nope, oh, found the leech. Bosco, help me! I was about to type leech. That's not gonna help me at all. Kill him, Bosco! Oh. Yeah, the menace would do that to me. Alright. Well. Out of here, I guess. I'm surprised I didn't get hit by any of that. <laughs> I feel like I should have gotten hit by at least one of those spikes. Oh, oh what? <laughs> what a cruel fate! Uh, oh, <laughs> but Dash comes in clutch. All right, awesome. All right, now I'll kill all of you. I was limited by ammo and health. <laughs> now I'm not as limited. Yeah, you want to murder him, Bosco? was better before uh Let's get rid of all that. before the hive guard kinda wrecked everything for us. Oh wow, we did a lot of damage to the last right here. Okay. Let's, let's get rid of that. Oops. Oh. <laughs> I didn't wait long enough. Back into that one. My depth perception failed me. Okay. Yeah, let's get him, Bosco.
Don't. <laughs> yeah. That is true. We do need a fresh power cell, don't we? Mm -hmm. oh, that's good that he's down here with me. Okay. Better that he's backing away. Are they healing? Okay, they are. Awesome. Fantastic time for me to also heal. Okay. Then we can continue on our fight. <laughs> Let's go get him, Busco. Okay. <laughs> Let's just dodge everything, man. Then I can get an extra. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll just eat them away. Yeah. <laughs> That's Molly. I was shooting at. I just seen the leg. <laughs> Alright. Well, that takes care of the twins. That was kind of a crazy little fight we had there. Okay, this is done and I hear more stuff coming. That's the spitter. I want elite one even. Okay, elite acid spitters are kind of scary. <laughs> there we go. How much nature we got? 300. Dang. All right. Well done. Three, about 330 now. All right. Let's see where we got to go then. And I didn't even really grab any nitro along the way. All right. Well, let's take this the easiest route straight ahead. <laughs> hmm. All right then. Let's go this way. Oh yeah, I can take a leg as a souvenir too. That's a good idea. Toss that over there. All right. I got my souvenir. Let's go, Molly. Let's go. <laughs> Slasher, though. He'll get eaten pretty quick. Yeah. Alright, get in there, leg. We're going to the next mission. I'll see you down there, Bosco. And then the last one, ten of quarks, one dreadnought, regenerative bugs, volatile guts. Alright, cool. This seems like a pretty straightforward uh, elite deep dive this week. Just throwing a whole bunch of bugs and a whole bunch of stuff at you, seeing if you can survive. So I think like a general purpose loadout would work really well here. And on this mission, it's probably gonna be best to start the Dreadnought right away. Just because otherwise it might take a little while and there might be some more dangerous stuff that starts showing up later. And regenerative bugs can be an issue if things like Praetorians and Oppressors start becoming more common. So let's look for the Dread then. He is over there. Okay. Wow. <laughs> is that a second warden? Or is that the same warden? That might be the same warden. Okay. No, wait, hang on. Gotta get down to one shot. 
Come back here, Warden. You gotta die. <laughs> Rid of that. Okay. Let's call this down right here. We could use it. Plus, we have plenty of nitra. That's kind of cool that they have you get as much nitra as you do for basically a big old boss fight. Oh, it's the twins again. <laughs> well, that means we could have a repeat of the. Uh, The last mission where we just had non-stop fighting for a little bit. Or we could just try to melt them really fast. I don't know where the other one is. I think it's up there or something. We already have helped that one. Why are you guys spawning? Oh, right, because your spawns would be separate of the dread spawn. Fighting in this middle area is going to be a kind of weird. Just because it's kind of a good spot to fight, but also not really one of the best spots to fight. Ow. Go back and heal again. <laughs> That's what I was doing. Put all that down there. Got to get back up to 300-ish Nitra. Oh yeah, drills actually work really good against the twins too, because you can strip their armor off. Since the drills have max armor breaking on them. Okay. Heal up again. <laughs> Let's go, you wanna go grab that? I think I can take care of this. Can you get that, Bosco? <laughs> This is actually an easy, easier spot to be fighting at than the previous spot. <laughs> okay, you can just drop that one, Bosco. Aha! Oh wait, I have Berserker, what am I doing? I haven't went Berserk on him yet. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's what we gotta do. And then get more Berserk value. Oh yeah, Volatile Guts kinda hurts us when we have Berserker, though. Oh, the Swarm is here? Alright, well, we got rid of the Dreadnought, so... This one shouldn't be so bad then. Oh, I overheated that. Eh, I still hit him though. Okay. <laughs> He's coming back. Oh yeah, ground can be kind of annoying too with regenerative bugs. So many of you. No, oh, I'm stuck in the corner. Okay, um. Whoop. <laughs> Tennis prize is working, but alright. Whatever. Yeah, stay away. Thanks, Buzz Go. Get, get rid of those. <laughs> I gotta get back up, I gotta get more ammo. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't go down there. 
No, I found another leech. Bosco, save me. I don't think you're going to get here in time, buddy, but... No. Ah, he's at least shooting it. <laughs> the swarmers were coming, too. All right, anyway. Oh, and their leeches are generating. All right. All right, Bosco, you want to grab that one? I'm going to get this one, then, without getting grabbed by a leech. Threw C4 down here, and it didn't open it up. Huh. All right, let's see. Is this enough right here? Yeah, it looks like it. All right, done and done. Let's get out of here, then. Definitely want to do these missions quickly, because otherwise things get bad <laughs> real quick, or things can go bad really quick. As long as we don't find another leech or two, we should be good to go. We still got two more down, so... I think if I hang out around here, we'll be fine. Oh, I actually mined even more quarks than I needed. All right, cool. I guess. And then let's see how much money we actually make from this. I'm curious to see how much an elite deep dive gets us. We weren't going for all the gold, and I really wouldn't recommend you go for all the gold in regular deep dive or the elite deep dive. Just because that's usually not the prize you're after. And mining gold can take quite a bit of extra time if you're doing that. Which, if you don't have resources for, can obviously give you problems. Okay, get rid of all that. <laughs> Sand Shark! He's coming right for us. There we go, we finally hit him, I think, or Bosco killed him, one of the two. I'm gonna take credit for it. <laughs> Bosco won't mind. He's probably beaten me in kills already several times over. I want my axes back. <laughs> Give me back my axes. Alright. Yes, because then I can do that. <laughs> That's where that leech got us. So... My intuition says that this place is safe then. Okay, <laughs> that works. Wait, there was another? Oh, that was the part that we sent Bosco to get. Oh no, <laughs> I found the vacuum again. Did that come down like... It came down right next to where the leech was. I was gonna say, maybe they wanted the orbital strike it. Oops. Whoops. <laughs> Alright. Up we go. Away we go. Alright, stage three completed and we got some pearl. Heck yeah. Not Bismore, so not as amazing, but still pretty decent. How many kills do we have? 999 kills. <laughs> oh, hey, we hit level 666. <laughs> um, don't know what to make of that, but definitely interesting. 